you say what sort of imprint Brad Shaw has made on those young defensemen? Well, it, Br Brad Shaw is one of the most intellectual guys uh, I've met uh, um, as far as how he looks at the game. It's a huge hire for us uh, because he gets to get with the, especially, I think it's the youngest group in the league, our, our back end, when Jonesy's in. and I, I think it's a perfect time uh, for them to come together here. I, I think we're trying to change the organization. Our, I've said it to you guys many, our engine is our back end and will be for the future. So it, it's a good marriage right now. And he, he is very good at just the subtle little things uh, in teaching them. And uh, it's terrific. It, it is, uh, uh, it, it's, it's my battle sometimes uh, with him and Brad Larson, who is a, a very, very intellectual coach also. How much do you give them? That's my battle. I, I drive in in the morning sometimes, and I know I have these guys, they're eager to go and teach and give them this, that, the other thing. I have a, I have a little bit of belief myself. Sometimes you just can't give them everything. It's a little bit of uh, being paralyzed by too much information. And I fight with them every day. And like I've told them, they should wear lab coats because they, that's <laughs> how, and I've learned a ton, for, ton from them. I have learned a ton from Shawzy right away and Brad. But I just want to make sure, uh, let the players play too. So that's the, the give and take we have. But he's been terrific. He, he, it's a great hire for this organization at where we're at right now. I didn't bring my lab coat today. So you don't need one, Zepp. I know. <laughs> Here's the question. You always say teams have to improve during the year. Are there two or three specific areas where you guys have improved since October? The, 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 I'll, I'll give you the main one mm -hmm. is our patience. I, uh, we've been in games uh, where, uh, I mean, just the Washington game the other night, it was a game of patience. Both teams, because we stunk defensively before, they got spanked by Carolina 5-1. You know both coaches put a mandate on, we got to play better away from the puck. Yeah. And both teams did play well away from the puck. Not many scoring chances were in the game. And third period comes, we're down one nothing. I didn't see our team open up and get crazy trying to score that tying goal and then give up an odd man rush and maybe they score bang bang it's three nothing the game's which over which had happened earlier oh yeah we we, okay. we have uh in my short time last year we have opened up we have lost our patience and it's not through being lazy it's almost almost overworking sometimes mm -hmm. instead of just slowing yourself down staying with it and 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 just allow it to happen and we get a huge goal from one of our young defensemen uh, we, had a, we had a number of chances in that third period just because we stayed within our system, away from the puck. It doesn't take away from safe as death, but it's just playing the right way away from puck. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so patience has been a, a, really, a really big thing for us. And I think it's found a way to get us a couple points along the way here early in the season.